In activity 17, we're going to present this 3D data now, not as in a 2D format, but as a movie. And the first example we're going to do for this is something called a Z translation. So, for activity 17, we're going to use the kidney 3D data.tiff image, and we're going to present a Z translation. So basically just us, a movie of us scrolling down through the focal planes. Like this. Now you'll notice in the bottom left hand corner here there's a little play button. If we press play you'll notice that it automatically starts to scan through that set stack information. And I see again we've got the problem at the start where there's a lot of out of focus Z planes. We can clip those out of our image as well. Okay. So if we want to play around with these settings, we can right click on here and it allows us to change some of the parameters. So for example, we can change the speed that we're playing the, the image at. So for movies to scan fairly uh, cleanly through, you want to have at least kind of 10 frames per second, more like 15 to 20 ideally, but that kind of depends on the number of Z stacks that you have within your image. For our image, if you remember, we've got all of that empty information at the start, so we can go from first frame from 27, and the last frame, probably the last 10 frames there, there isn't any information either, so we can have the last frame as being 110. Now if we go through, we can scan through the data. Once we're happy that we've got a correct file, make sure you hit the pause button here so it doesn't continue playing, otherwise your computer will alarm at you incessantly. And now when we're saving the data, we're gonna file, save as, we're gonna save it as an ABI rather than as a TIFF file. Okay. Really important thing here is don't put any compression on. Uh, if you put compression to none, then you can then export it out and convert it to whatever uh, file format you want for playing on your computer. Again, you get the chance to put in the frame rates. Hit OK. And then you give it a chance to give it the file name and save it where you want it. 